Hey Diamonds, welcome back. Um, so today's video is just going to be a quick face of the day and a quick review. Um, I had gotten the e.l.f. what are these things called? The Beauty Eye Manuals um, some time ago and I've had a chance to use all of them so I wanted to tell you guys my thoughts but really quick thank you to all of my new subscribers and all of you that have been here with me from the beginning your constant support thumbs up comments it just means the world to me I love each and every email and comment that I get um, so thank you thank you thank you um, thank you thank you I can't stress that enough thank you don't forget if you have not answered the giveaway answer it there's only a few days left for that um, and I think that is it for for that. Yeah, was there any other announcements? No, I think that was it. Um, so really quick, the face of the day is super simple. Like you can do this in in five minutes. And what I used was only two eyeshadows, so I actually don't have a highlight. I wanted to keep it as natural as possible. I didn't want to highlight. So I'm using Max Evening Aura, which is a really light, pale peach kind of color. And you can pro probably find a color like ah! this. And no! Really? You can probably find a color like this in one of the 88 palettes or the 120 palettes from BH Cosmetics and the 88 palettes from Coastal Sense or BH because you know they're all mass produced. And then I used a color that's close to my own skin tone and this is NYX's Blame It On Midnight. It's just a simple nude color. Not anything too special about this. Again, just get any color um, that's close to your skin tone and just use that to blend from the peach color up to the brow and that's what I did. For a base I used of course MAC's Groundwork Paint Pot and that's just a flesh tone color base close to my skin tone. Um, just find a base that's close to your skin tone. Simple as that. For blush I used I guess keeping with the peachy color. I can't open this. I used um, Sleek's Life is a, hello, how are you? <laughs> Sleek's Life is a Peach, Life, is that what it's called? Yeah, Life's a Peach Blush, I'm sorry, that's just odd. Life's a Peach Blush, and it's a pretty peachy coral color, lightly on the cheeks. Um, oh, and for eyeliner, just a copper bronze color, and this is Copper by NYX. So there, I mean, this eye look, it doesn't get any simpler, really. Um, lips, a uh, clear, glossy color. I'm using Nick Nix's NARS Super Orgasm because it has a whole lot of shimmer. Love this gloss. You got to go by right now. Of uh, of course, as always, I forgot to mention a base. You want to prime your eyes, so I use NYX's HD High Definition Eyeshadow Base. That's a lot of words just to say. You want to prime your eyes. This will prevent creasing and help your makeup to last the rest of the day. On my face, Simple Mary Kay Tinted Moisturizer. I am Bronze 1. And... That is it for my face of the day. So let's get on to the review. So these were, um, there was a sale to get all three of these for like, I want to say six bucks, six or eight dollars, something like that. Um, all three of these, six for eight dollars, and then free shipping for any any orders over like 25 bucks and I think I just added like some lip stuff to it but I was really skeptical about getting these because I had their I think it was when they first came out with the 100 palette I had gotten that and I was not very happy with the pigmentation in those shadows um with the exception of the blue that with that one blue that just stood out I did not like 
any of the eyeshadows in there. And I love e.l.f.'s single eyeshadows, but I think when it came to the, the palette form, I think a lot of things were, were compromised. They were chalky. It did not blend well. And again, guys, this is my opinion. If you had a good experience with that palette, that's you. I'm telling you guys what what it was for me okay so don't leave me comments about oh you know you should try it again and this and this and this and that it's gone I didn't like it and I got rid of it if it worked for you it worked for you and I'm happy that it worked for you not every product is gonna work great for every person I'm just gonna tell you my thoughts on it so anywho I did not like that palette so when I saw these, I was kind of really skeptical, but after doing much searching and reading reviews and stuff, um, they got quite amount of good reviews from people that really use a lot of high-end products to people who only use drugstore products and e.l.f. Um, and Target products. So it got good reviews all around. Um, so I thought I would give it a try and I must say I am very very pleased the eyes are the eyes the eyeshadows are pigmented um, so for starters it's like this in a book I think the first time I seen this was maybe a year or two ago around the time for school um, and on this side it'll have you know how to get the eye looks in it which is cool for those that are beginning and in here kind of gives you some eye charts to create your own looks and you can write down what you used and where you used it which I think is really cool and what's even cool is if you're into doing the face charts and you don't have the big ones you can actually probably just copy this and then you've got eyes to work with and then you got three six nine twelve eyeshadows and you get one eyeliner and an applicator but these applicators I usually um, keep in a baggie because I use them for swatches so you get 12 shadows and they are pretty good they're pretty pigmented let's see there's that one I guess that was the wrong color to choose because it's not really um so here's this one right here see it really is pigmented here's this color over here which is burgundy-ish kind of color and can y'all see that like this computer is just weird to me so it's nicely pigmented I don't find that they are chalky they do blend well so all my fears basically from my first experience with the other palette the other the other palette was pretty much gone with these I am actually quite happy that I got them another thing that I, I like this is super light like super Maybe I shouldn't have done that one. But this is really, really light. I can, like, totally stick this in my bag, a few brushes, and I can just carry this with me wherever I go. Um, I've taken the one with the purple in it, this one, the Bright Eye Edition. I've taken this with me in my bag because I just never know where I'm going to be. And someone, oh, Avi, can you, can you do my eye makeup? Can you do this? Or... No whatever the case is and and it just gives me no. flexibility no. I mean a nice variety of colors I love it I love it I love it y'all know I love colors um yeah so this I told you this review is gonna be really short I like it I like the products again they blend well it's you can put this in your pocketbook and if you don't get a chance to do your makeup at home when you get to work or wherever you're going, pop in the bathroom and you can easily do your eye makeup in five minutes or less with this right here. Um, obviously, you don't want to have this. You don't want this. Um, but with a good base, a good primer, it's really, really awesome to have. Um... And, oh, just so you know, this is the Bright Eyed Edition. And these are the colors. 
right there. And they all come with a black eyeliner. That's one thing from e.l.f. I don't like. I do not like their pencil liners. Then you get the Natural Eye Edition. You get the Natural Eye Edition. And then you get the Everyday Eye Edition. I like the fact, I like this, um, this bluish, gray, grayish, bluish right here. I like that a lot. Okay, so here it is. And you can check their website at www.eyeslipsface.com. They're always, always having sales. Um... The only thing is you can't put more than one code, and I'm definitely a code, coupon code, fine and chick. But you can only use one code at a time with them, which is a bummer, because I would say, you would, you could save a whole lot of money, because first of all, their products are inexpensive, but they're good quality products, except for the pencils. I can't stand those pencils, I'm sorry. They're good quality products, and so don't sleep on that $1 eyeshadow, okay? Don't sleep on it, because it's the bomb.com. All right, and um, yeah, sign up for their emails and get emails delivered. I don't know how often I get them. I kind of ignore them, especially if I'm not looking for anything. I ignore them um, unless, you know, it's something really eye-catching. Like one time they had a sale, spend $20 and get all of the little quads, all of them, all of them for free you can't beat that so inexpensive and great quality is good I'm not going to sit here so just in case someone asks me because I got asked this question before would I compare it to Mac I would not compare it to Mac um, obviously Mac is a better quality um, a higher price as well but for what it is for a drugstore area for one dollar, it's a great product. I've got stuff for a dollar that were crap, that were not worth the dollar I spent on it. And yet I go to the store where majority of their products are a dollar and they're they're great. They are absolutely great, with the exception of those pencils. Um anywho, that is my review. So here's a last look at the um super simple face of the day like my freckles I like to see my freckles you know people always ask me how come I don't put concealer in a lot of concealer I like to see my freckles I don't like to have everything piled up on my face and then I don't look real I like to see my freckles anywho love you diamonds see you in the next video if you want to see this look which is a great you know get ready with me every day super simple two eyeshadows and a liner let me know thumbs up comment below love y'all and i will check you in the next video